You might be wondering why is Japan, which is a waterfront community, so much more affordable compared to the neighboring towns? The homes look nice, the views are spectacular, so why would the same property be three times as much in say Greenwich or Darien? Well, I'm going to cover that question and some of the pros and cons of Japan in this video. Let's go. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name's Charlie Vinci. I'm a local realtor. My family and I have been here for five generations. All of the information that I mentioned in this video is available at the link on the screen, and I'll leave you with a QR code at the end of the video. The supplements on my site are going to help you determine if Japan's a fit for you and your family. So you already know that Japan Waterfront is relatively affordable compared to say Greenwich and Darien. Many of our clients shop here because they're not finding what they want in other towns. But what are the drawbacks? There must be a reason, right? Well, there are a few, and depending on your criteria, they may be a deal stopper, or you could decide that getting the right property is worth the drawbacks. So let's go ahead and take a look. First, if you want a private beach or semi-private beach, you're gonna be hard pressed to find it for less money somewhere else. Nearly the entire Japan coastline is sand, and in addition to the homes with a private beach, many of the neighborhoods have their own private beach. And if your street does not have a private beach, you can always use the beautiful West Beach, which is in the northeast side of the neighborhood. Japan has good access to the train and Stanford amenities. If you wanna know more, check out our neighborhood tour, which will give you a great big picture understanding of the neighborhood. If you're looking for a condo, you're going to have some options in the northern part of the neighborhood, but Japan's made up of mostly houses. You can see what's currently available by going to the link on the screen and doing a home search. It's also an excellent neighborhood to stay fit. It's a great community for walking, running, or riding your bike. This all probably sounds good, so what are the drawbacks? Well, in the northern part of the neighborhood, at the intersection of Harbor Drive and McGee Ave, there is a sewer treatment plant. I say that there's a risk of foul smells in the northern part of the neighborhood in the warmer months. However, I haven't smelled anything when showing property, and I have never heard of anyone complaining about it. I also looked at the Google reviews for the nearby West Beach, and there wasn't a single person who mentioned a foul smell. I would think that someone would have mentioned it if there was a problem. You may want to take a look for yourself and be sure if you are comfortable with this when you visit the area. If you're shopping for the same price in either Darien or Greenwich, you're gonna notice that the taxes are much higher in Stanford. One plus may be that you don't need to spend as much in Stanford to get the same quality home. If highly rated schools are a must for you, I'd encourage you to grab our buyer's guide which has all the school information to see if Stanford is up to your standards. What I can tell you is that the ratings have been lower in Stanford compared to most of Greenwich and Darien. So definitely take a look if this is important. Also, if you don't want to live near an industrial area, you should be aware that there are some other industrial properties near the treatment plant. I would suggest exploring the area to see if it's a fit for you. You can download this map from my site to make your in-person tour a whole lot easier and productive. If you're thinking about buying or selling in Japan, call me. Wait, I have one more option for you. If you're on your computer or watching on TV, whip out your phone and scan this QR code. It will bring you right to the page on our site related to the video.